This one's gonna get pretty insane. We've got multiple upcoming Yeezys that has people pretty shocked. And we've got yet another new Travis Scott sneak. Before we jump into that, let's do the release recap, which is, of course, the Jordan 1 UN Cito. These dropped yesterday. Let me know who picked up a pair. I was actually a little bit surprised at this release. I got a ton of messages on Instagram of people saying that they took L's. Like, what happened to the rumors that these had a ton of stock? Either way, let me know if you cop down in the comments. All right, let's jump into this Yeezy news because we got a ton to cover. Now, if you haven't seen my video where I go over all of the upcoming Yeezys that are gonna be dropping in August, then definitely check it out. I'll put it up over here and down in the description. I'm just going to be updating you guys on the new Yeezys that have come up since that video. Start with the Yeezy slides because there's three different colorways that's going to be dropping in August. Starting with this one right here, the Yeezy slide Slate Marine. Now what you're looking at is the official image. Now, these are going to be dropping on August the 15th and because all of the other slides that are dropping in August as well are so similar, this is the gray one that has a very slight green tint. We also got the granite colorway which is a little bit more of a darker almost black color. Now, these are going to be dropping in August as well. And then finally, we got the Yeezy Slide Slate Gray. He's gonna be dropping on August the 22nd. Just keep in mind, there is a ton of Yeezys dropping in August and a lot of the release dates are going to be a little bit different from retailer to retailer and region to region. You definitely wanna to subscribe to the channel so I can keep you as up to date as possible. Moving over to Foam Runners, we've got two new colorways. This is the Yeezy Foam Runner Stone Taupe. We now know what it looks like because this is the official image. And these ones look very similar to the Stone Sage colorway, just potentially without the mixture effect. Now again, no specific release state in August for this pair. Just expect these at some point. And then of course the Foam Runner Carbon colorway, pretty much almost identical to the Onyx pair. So if you have the Onyxes, maybe this is one that you don't really need. Again, no specific release date in August. Right, we also got some images of sneakers that we spoke about in the last video. So take a look at this one right here. This is the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Slate Onyx. These are going to be dropping on August the 4th. Another one is the Yeezy Knit Runner Stone Onyx. So this one you could just tell is various shades of gray. Now this is where the real exciting stuff happens, at least for me personally, starting off with the Yeezy 500 High Tactical Boot. We've got two different colorways that should be dropping in August. If they don't drop in August, they should be dropping very, very soon. We've got this new sand colorway. Previously, we had only seen the black one. So this is a nice little, very fitting colorway for this style of boot. Super padded ankle area, which I think is definitely gonna come in handy because these things look like they come up quite high. The main difference between these and a lot of those samples is the fact that we now have a Yeezy 500 midsole on them. This one's looking clean. It is definitely a cop for me. Now, this is the black colorway, which we've seen a bunch of times, but now we actually have official images for this pair. So again, it indicates that the release is very, very soon. Something that's really unique about this pair of shoes is the laces actually have a fire starter in the aglet. In fact, if we zoom into this picture here, you can see that the tip of that lace is red, which indicates that, yeah, there's a fire starter in there just to really lean into that whole military boot style. Now, one of the more shocking updates is the fact that the Yeezy 950 the Pirate Black is actually going to be returning. And only a few weeks ago, a new rumor came out to say that these were not going to be restocking, but now it looks like, here we go, we have official images and we also have in-hand pairs. So the 2023 Yeezy 950 boot restock is 100% happening. You can see this right here is a brand new official image for the 2023 version. And then this image right here shows a 2023 pair in hand. Now, as of right now, this is the only one that I've seen in terms of a colorway, the Pirate Black one. But again, now that this one's confirmed to be coming out, I would not be surprised if more colorways join. As of right now, we don't have a release date for this, but I would expect these to probably drop in August as well, probably just spread out throughout the month. Now, another pair that we have official images for is this one right here, a Yeezy Quantum Cream colorway. This is something that we saw a couple weeks back, but now we have official images of it. I said that I really like this pair. I think it looks really clean, especially when you see it in hand. I think it looks even better. And then the most shocking pair of Yeezys that just popped up seemingly out of nowhere that pretty much everyone thought was never going to release the Yeezy Quantum High Res Orange. Kanye West was gifting pairs to different rappers like the Migos and I believe ASAP Bari as well. So we saw some images of them having it. And pretty much the rumor was that they only made a couple pairs of this and it was always going to be a friends and family exclusive. But now we just had official images pop up. They're going to be releasing. Even though we don't have a specific release date for this pair, I mean, I would say a lot of these are probably going to come in August. And seeing that this pair is actually going to release, it kind of gets my hopes up that potentially we might end up seeing a release of the Yeezy 1050 boot, that super orange pair that we saw Kanye wearing during his Donda listening party. Yeah, we have no confirmed or official images of that pair, but uh, at least we have this one. All right, moving on from Yeezy news, we actually got the first look at a brand new collaboration with Adidas. This is a Fallout Boy Stan Smith. I mean, Adidas has been collaborating pretty heavy with the music industry. We saw obviously Bad Bunny, Pharrell Williams, Horn was the most recent one, and now Fallout Boy. As far as a release date at the moment, it is TBA. Not only are we getting two 
two different colorways of the Jordan 5 later on this year, but now we know that we're gonna be getting a Nike Airship in white and black. Honestly, it's nothing really crazy. It doesn't seem to change up the Airship model that much. In fact, it just looks like a sailed out vintage version. Honestly, it's a clean colorway of the Airship, but really nothing that special. Now, these are gonna be dropping sometime holiday 2023. Another week, another Kobe leak. We've started to see a massive influx of different Kobe sneakers that Nike is rumored to bring back, and this is another one, the Nike Kobe 4 Philly colorway. So this is gonna be the first retro since 2009, and this is the image of the original pair. We haven't seen any images of the actual pair that's going to be coming. I think it's pretty safe to assume that Nike's not gonna change it up in any way, so I would expect a as close to the original as possible for this sneaker. These are expected to drop summer 2024. Sticking with Kobe sneakers, this pair of Nike Air Force One lows is also supposed to drop in summer 2024. Now this image right here is a mock-up, so don't expect this exact colorway to drop, but again, this is Z Sneakerheads mock-up, I believe, so it should be relatively accurate. Nevertheless, this is a summer 2024 release, so let's keep it moving. All right, we got a ton of pretty massive Nike Dunk updates. We got some on-foot images of the tight booth Nike SB Dunk Low. The more I'm seeing these things, the more I'm liking them. I, I believe the Nike swoosh on these things is reflective. I might be wrong about that. I'm almost certain I saw a picture of it. Now, the date is still TBA, but I believe these are going to be dropping holiday season, potentially around October, December time. All right, we've got another pretty massive Nike Dunk Low retro. The Nike Dunk Low Co.JP Ultraman is going to be coming 2024 as well. This comes off the back of a couple different Co.JP dunks that we've spoke about last week or the week before that, but we know that the Ugly Duckling dunks are going to be restocking. And now this pair for the first time ever. So it is going to be a summer 2024 drop, so that is quite a ways away, but this image that you're seeing right here is of the original 1999 pair. Now that's not going to be the only Co.JP dunk that Nike brings back. Take a look at this. We got the reverse curry is also going to retro spring 2024. This is another pair of dunks from that era, so 1999. In fact, this is the image of that original pair. Clot Nike Dunk Low What the Colorway is going to be dropping on July the 29th. Just wanted to kind of remind you guys, I believe the raffle is up on the juicestore.com. My mistake, if you take a look at the juice store, you can see all of the raffle details. The raffle is going to be available to enter on July the 25th until the 26th. So yeah, if you're off to this very crazy pair of dunks, then just head over to the juice store because I believe they're only going to be dropping on here. There is not going to be any Nike sneakers release. Also got the first looks of the Nike Dunk Low B1 of 1. Take a look at this one right here. This one's a little bit more on the interesting side. You've got the mini swoosh on the toe box and the materials I think are the most interesting. It comes in like almost this quilted material with frayed edges. Except for the Nike swoosh, it's a little bit strange. The pink metallic color. These should be coming fairly soon because I believe these are the official images. And if you wanted to wear pandas but also be a little bit different at the same time, well the Nike Dunk Low Vintage Panda is going to be dropping this holiday season. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just a slightly shinier version up top, but then it also has the sail midsole, the sail laces, and a different sock liner. This unfortunately is just going to be a woman's size run, so it only goes up to, I believe, like a woman's 12, which is like a men's 10 and a half. Nevertheless, it's obviously not a bad colorway. Right, the final pair of dunks that we're going to talk about today is uh, definitely the scariest. We finally got the first looks at the Powerpuff Girls Nike SB Dunk Low, and man, them things are staring into your soul. So for some reason, they decided to put the eyes on the back. These freaking eyeballs that they put on the back are massive. Now, as we know, of course, they're going to do a pair for each of the three Powerpuff Girls. So we're also getting the blue colorway uh, and then, of course, the green colorway as well. All are pretty much identical in terms of the actual look of them. They're just different colors. They also decided to throw in one extra character, which I thought was pretty hilarious. Mojo Jojo. That's right. So if you take a look at this here, we can see all of the different versions that are going to be coming. Purple pair is actually Mojo Jojo, which in my opinion kind of looks like the coolest one of the bunch. But sadly, that pair is apparently just going to be a friends and family exclusive, so pretty much non-existent to the public. But the rest of them are available and are going to be dropping on December the 14th. Are you copying these things and what do you think of the eyeball dunks? And August is going to be stacked with releases. Take a look at this right here. We're also going to be getting the off-white Air Force One mid sheet colorway, something that we've seen rumored for a while now. This is the all-over black patent leather colorway inspired by Rashid Wallace, and you can find different Rashid Wallace details all over it, like the 30 on the strap. You've got the embroidery on the heel, and you've even got Rashid text on the medial side of this shoe. If I zoom in over here, you can see it says off-white for Rashid. These are going to be dropping in August, and unlike the white pair, they're also going to have an off-white and a Nike sneakers release. Right, so it looks like Union and Jordan brand are not only going to be making the Jordan 1s that are upcoming in a couple months, but they're also going to be making this pair. I guess it is still a Jordan 1, but it's an Elevate High SP. So this is the triple collaboration 
collaboration, the Union LA, Beffy's Beauty Supply, and of course, Jordan Brand. So this is something that I had no idea they were actually going to do. I believe this is the first time we've seen the rumors, but they're probably going to drop at the exact same time. So these are gonna be dropping on August the 6th. And if you see this image over here, which is the only image that we have, it is very, very similar to the Jordan ones with the woven detail that wraps around the entire shoe. It's just gonna have that extended platform midsole. So yeah, woman sizing for the Elevates and then regular men's sizing for the regular Jordan ones. I right, just wanna update you guys real quick on a pair of shoes that's dropping next week. This one right here, the Bad Bunny Adidas Campus in the brown colorway. Like, this just looks like such an aesthetically pleasing colorway with the sail midsole and all of that rubber that wraps around. And then of course you got the really nice earthy brown tones all over the upper. We've got some more images of it over here. Maybe the best, if not the second best colorway that we've seen on this model. They're gonna be dropping on the 29th of July. So right around the corner. Right, we got some first looks at the upcoming Ambush Nike Air More Up Tempo. They're actually dropping this full. This one's gonna be called the Limestone Colorway. We've got these images over here and also some on foot shots too. We've also got uh, the Lilac Colorway. This one right over here, all over purple with some lime green. This one right here is a little bit more my speed, just the all over black and white colorway, a little bit toned down. Yeah, we don't have any specific release dates. These are a little bit out there. All right, let's get into this Travis Scott news because again, we've got some more images of this upcoming brand new Cut the Check Jordan brand model. And we've also got some new colorways as well, which we haven't seen. This is one that we have seen. However, we're now finally looking at it in much better detail. What it basically seems like is Travis Scott is made a new sneaker, which kind of just looks like almost like a modified Jordan 1 low. So you can see over here, they look a lot bulkier than a pair of Jordan 1 lows. So a little bit more of a skate vibe. We take a look at some more detailed shots like this one over here. The midsole is definitely different, a lot more chunkier. Of course, you've got a strap. This is very, very similar to the olive colorway of the Jordan 1 low collaboration that they just did. So if you take a look at the markup, it becomes a lot more clear. This shoe definitely looks like a Jordan 1 low, just modified. Either way, this pair is expected to release at some point this year, I believe. So again, there's some pairs that are dropping this year and then some other colorways that are dropping next year. We're not entirely sure which ones, but we've also got a mock-up of the one that Travis Scott was wearing on stage, which again, this mock-up is based off of this blurry image. So not much to go off of, but because we've seen the other colorway in so much detail, we get a much better image at what this pair of shoes looks like. The really interesting thing is the latest colorway that Travis Scott was wearing. Now this is where the whole Jordan 1 low uh, crossover becomes a little bit more clear. Now take a look at what's on his foot. It's very clearly the cut the check model, but in a reverse mocha colorway. So again, we can see it in a little bit more detail over here, but yeah, that very clearly is like very, very close to the reverse mocha. So now we've got an olive colorway and a reverse mocha colorway and an all over black and gray colorway. Honestly, I'm really excited for these new models. I'm not entirely sure how the release is gonna go, if people are gonna be just as hyped for this new model as they are for the Jordan 1 lows. But we'll have to wait and see because we've got at least three colorways that we know we're gonna be dropping this holiday season. So I'll keep you guys updated as soon as we get any more information. Right, we've got a couple Jordan 1 stories, starting off with that next year's summer release. We're not gonna spend too long, but this is the first mock-up that we've seen of the Air Jordan 1 white, black, green glow. This mock-up is probably pretty accurate at what this pair of shoes is gonna look like. This color blocking, that is confirmed. However, the exact shade might be a little bit off. Generally speaking, summertime 2024, we're getting something that looks like this. We also got a release date for the Air Jordan 1 High Mauve. These are gonna be dropping October the 14th. Now, we haven't really seen too much about this pair of ones. Uh, we do have a lot of very weirdly close-up pictures of the pair of shoes. These are not that exciting for me personally. I think it's a solid colorway. All right, final story for today. We're gonna end this off with uh, the Crocs Mischief Big Yellow Boot called the Trypophobia. That's right, so Trypophobia, I think is people who have a phobia of holes. They might be a little bit more detailed than that, but essentially that's it. So that's what they're naming this pair of shoes, obviously. And what I think is really interesting, something that I haven't seen uh, with the on-foot shots of this pair of boots is the fact that you can see this guy's feet inside. So these holes do go straight into the shoe, kind of like a pair of Crocs. All these things, whatever you want, the cheese blocks, the trypophobias, the, the Croc boots, nevertheless, they're gonna be dropping next month. So expect a release, I guess, similar to what we saw with the big red boot. Let me know if you prefer the big yellows or the big reds. Drop it down in the comments. It is stacked next month, so if you wanna get prepared for all of the Yeezy releases that are coming, go check out that video where I go over each and every one of them.